Morning. This is the uh, going to show you how to triple parallel, unlike Honda U generator series. Um, I've heard of online a guy um, uh, connecting an EU three thousand, two thousand, and a one thousand together without any problems. I know a lot of you complain that oh you cannot do unlike size generators, but in truth, you can connect any size EU two thousand generator to another one. Uh, the only problem is how to safely connect them together. Um, this is my own combination kit that I've come up with that I've seen a few people online do and I kind of added my extra to hook the EU2000s together. So I'll demonstrate. Um, this is the cable that you can get from Honda US uh, through Wise Sales to any of your Honda dealers. It connects a 1000 or a EU2000 or an EU3000 handy. That's what that parallel cable is specifically for. It's around $30, $40 depending on where you get it. I picked it specifically because of the banana plugs that I'm pointing to there and over there. Uh, safely connect these two generators together safely. Um, this is my kit that I can connect the two EU2000s or the 2000 to the set of EU 1000s connected together with that parallel cable. Um, the only safety concern with this kit, um, because it's a homemade kit and it doesn't have these banana cables, once you unplug them, they're, they're covered, so they're safe if you drop them. And the other one was plugged into a the running generator that you will not, not get electrocuted. But with this model, if you plug in that one, power can still go through all the way through the other plugs so you have to make sure both of these plugs are plugged in together these are 15 amp plugs I've seen a guy use 20 amp plugs but he connected two EU2000 together the EU2000 you'll see the plugins there or 15 and 20 amp plugins they have the combination of either you plug in a 20 amp or a 15 amp plug but the EU1000s only have 15 amp plugs on them. So the blades are a little different than the 20 amp. So I just stuck with using 15 amp plugs. And you'll notice that, there we go, that plug in is a 30 amp twist lock. And what I did is made myself a 30 amp 120 twist lock to an RV plug. You can actually buy these factory made uh, at most places, even the EU um, 2000 um, companion kit has that cable and a twist lock from 30 twist lock to 30 amp RV or is it the other way around the 30 push in 30 or I'd have to look it up but you can look it up yourself and I actually have this 30 amp twist lock that goes to a 15 amp uh, regular plug-in. I use that because then I can plug in my house or any other um, appliance that runs 15 amp but needs a higher surge to start. Then I can connect two of the, the 2000 and the 1000 together to get the higher surge. You'll notice that the EU 2000 is a 13.3 uh, rated with uh, I think a 16.7 uh, max for 30 minutes. The EU 1000 I think is 7 amp, 7.7 .7 with 8 something. You'd have to look up the specs online. Um, just a little note for some of you guys who are running uh, RV 13.5 air conditioners. Um, some of you claim that the EU 2000 you can start your air conditioner but some people say it's really a heavy load. Some cannot. I cannot start mine on the 13,005 on just the EU2000. If I hook an EU2000 to one of the EU1000s, it works fine. Or surprisingly enough, if I hook, hook the two EU1000s together, I can start my RV air conditioner without a problem as long as the eco mode is turned off on the generators. Surprisingly enough, the EU1000s will put out 900 watts rated a thousand max for uh, 30 minutes where the EU 2000 is 1600 watt rated and 2000 max for half an hour so these little guys actually put out more rated power than the 2000 so 
it's an interesting little fact. Um, I'll actually show you how I hook this up. Sorry, it's just my partner that was going to help me do the videoing is sleeping in today. Yeah, that's what happens with teenagers. So, as you notice, I connected one of the plugs over there to one of the... Let's see if I can get that there. So, I actually have a video with all of these hooked up online, but um, some of you actually asked me to explain exactly how I hook them up. So in this setup here, the EU2000 and the 1000 are connected together. Uh, there is a basic rule that you have to always abide by. The generators all have to be turned off and plugged in before you start them. You cannot have one running and plug the other ones in. Um, that's just, I don't know if the computers, the computer do, do all of the syncing, all of the control, all of the, the revving up for the load. Um, and you wonder if a 2000 and 1000 together, if the 1000 carries most of the load. No, it does not. It shares the load equally to what its uh, power level is. So if it senses that the voltage drops and needs to rev up to this to get the right voltage, uh, the 1000 will rev up accordingly in the 2000. And if you figure that uh, the 2000 revs up uh, another 2000 RPM, it puts out, say, 1200 watt. And if the 1000 revs up 2000 watt, it's putting out up to 500 watts. So the combination of that is what you get for power. Um, they equally share the load for to the rated or max wattage. It's... Uh, the EU-1000 doesn't carry the load more than the 2000. They equally share it together. And even if you connect the three of them together, which I'm about to show you how I do, which is real easy. Um, you take your banana clips. Um, you'll notice that with this set, the banana clips are c colored red. Uh, the um, That's just the way uh, this set was colored. Some of them are not colored. But the, the manual asks that you put the, if I do believe right, red to the middle, black to the outside. And you'll notice that over here, I'm not going to hook it up, but the ground does get screwed onto there. Then you go over to the other unit, red to the middle. I know it's a little bit poor lighting in my garage, it's just that time of day. And... Actually, I will hook the ground up. Just bear with me. A little hard doing this one-handed. And I have done multiple testing with uh, these units. I do have a couple of my videos online. Um, I have a couple that I didn't post. I actually done some testing on these to hook an EU 1000 and 2000 together and maxed them out. I had um, with just this um, together and they both I ran a two 15, 1500 watt heaters and they shared the load equally. If I turned one heater off, uh, the generators changed their idle and matched the load uh, precisely. So they do work very, very well together. So in this little demonstration, you'll see that um, all the generators are connected together. And uh, this setup will actually give you 28 amp uh, rated 33 surge. And all I do is just take that from my RV, just twist lock into there. And my RV plugs into there because it's, um, some of you are wondering, well, how about fuse as well? And the main breaker on the trailer is 30 amp. Uh, some of you probably can come up with a better design to hook these all together, but this is what I've come up with. Um, that one cable there, like I said, I could hook those two plugs just into these two generators and just have these two generators all by themselves. Or I can hook both of the plugs, the, the or, or, um, yellow plugs in together on any of just the single generators to run my 30 amp twist lock and go to my RV. My tent trailer uses a 30 amp plug, so this uh, cable here works very, very nice with this little setup here. 
to hook to my tent trailer and just run an EU-1000. That's more than enough to run to charge the batteries and the coffee maker I have. Um, I did get a uh, portable air conditioner, which actually it requires... Um, the, it can run on the EU-2000, but it has to, the EU-2000 has to be turned up to fast idle because it's a very sensitive um, uh, portable air conditioner to any voltage drop. Um, so I just got to rev the EU-2000 up to turn the auto idle off, and it works perfectly. So, and you're wondering, okay, all these are working together. Um, with this combination, they're all hooked together. You start them all up, and you confirm that the green power light is working on all of them. If one is not, turn it off, then restart it, because it could be some little glitch. But you have to make sure all of the green power lights are working. Um, then you can connect your load and away you go. And what I've been able to do is um, start them all up and if I find that I'm not running very much power I can turn off any of the generators, doesn't matter um, which one it is. If I start the 2000 and start one of the all of the, the other 1000 it doesn't really matter so far um, which one you uh, you know, if you turn, start it with the 2000, turn that one on, then turn that one on. I can turn these two off once I get everything connected together and just run on that one alone. If I need more power, I can turn that one on and just have the two of the 1000s together. If I need more and more power, I can have all three of them running. It doesn't matter which one you start at first and which one you switch to. Uh, once they're all connected together and restart it, they all sync in together and they match the, their RPM to what power is needed. Um, they share the load equally according to the wattage and I've had no trouble with running them at all so far and I've done a couple hours worth of testing so and I got one, I know one guy on an RV site that's run it for a lot longer than that and like I said you do the 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 together no issues. If you have any questions let me know. Okay thanks. Bye-bye.